So you also are the guest lecturer for the chakras and, and how we, there are multiple ways of understanding and teaching them, but can you talk a little bit about your approach and how we utilize Again, this art? My approach is to see everything as energy because everything is energy. And so learning that the chakras, they're in your energy field. Right? We, have, we have all these different layers of our beings, and the physical layer is just the first, right? Mm -hmm. So as we connect other layers, you can also start to connect your own energy field, and that's where the chakras really are, right? They, of course, they have, they are along the spine, but they're along the actual energetic spine, not the physical spine, so there's always movement and vibration, and that they're just energy, and they spin, they rotate at a certain frequency, so each one has a different frequency. And so when things are aligned and balanced, then they, you know, they vibrate a certain way, they emit a certain light, not that we cannot see with our physical eyes, but that still is there. And when things are out of balance, then it's because there's it's kind of some sludge, right? So then things are a little sluggish. And we teach practices in yoga that kind of help you to clean up all of the dirt, right? <laughs> and then rebalance. Mm -hmm. And so the energy can flow again. It's all about finding the places in the body where the energy is blocked, and especially through the chakras, so that they can spin, because the chakras spin again. Of course, everything spins. You know, they can spin at the frequency that they're supposed to, right? 